Hey there, it's the week of August 17th. How are you? I am Emily from emilyarons.com and I'm here to do your three card energy forecast for this week using my deck, the Angels in Your Biz Oracle deck. Um, this deck is designed for people who are not super woo to get their first chance to do a card reading so that they can get out of their head, into their heart, and run your business with total alignment and ease. That's the idea anyways. So this week's forecast is really doing that exact same thing. Um, they really are every single week, but there's a different message each week to keep you into that flow state. So let's get started. Card number one is core values. Hone in on your purpose and your values. This is a great card to start the week off with because it's like, it's locking you in. If you do not have company core values or even personal core values, this is a really good sign to start doing it right now. Like today, make sure it's part of what you're doing today because if you don't have your core values and everything else in your business is kind of going to fall flat, honestly. Um, the direction that you're taking your business, who you start to hire, the people who you're attracting into your company, um, everything pivots on this. So no pressure, but please do it. <laughs> Card number two is aligned action. Don't delay, act. Do I need to repeat the previous message? Okay, great. Last one is trust your gut. Your body knows the truth. So this card is really talking about the growth after you do your core values. So let's just say you have your core values and they're dialed in and they're awesome. So how do your core values then show up, how, how you show up in your business, how you show up in the community, how you show up with your team? Is it in alignment or not? Your gut is telling you something right now. So if you're saying, okay, well, my part of my core values is about, um, uh, let's see, I'll use, I'll use one of my integrity. Okay. I'm like, I'm going to make one up. Really don't make one up, Emily. Just stay the course. So <laughs> if, if one of your core values is integrity, then what your guidance is saying is like, okay, if this is one of your core values is integrity, then you better start taking aligned action in integrity. So if you're saying, I'm going to do this thing by the end of the week and you never do it, you're out of integrity. Your body is probably screaming at you going like, why are you saying you're doing the thing and not doing the thing? Yeah, maybe nobody else knows except for you, but you know, and you know, so you gotta stop doing it. So either change your core value so you don't have to hold yourself accountable for everything you say you're gonna do, um, or do it, please, just do it. Maybe instead of having such huge audacious goals, why don't you have some huge audacious goals and then have some smaller goals and have some steps on how to get yourself there? Because I, the, the feeling that I'm getting with this spread is almost like you're letting yourself down a little bit because you're not fulfilling what you say you're going to do. But what you say you want to do is almost too big. It's like, in, you know, if they say how you eat an elephant one bite at a time, this is what it's causing you to do is like, yes, have the big goal and big dream, but part of that is kind of derailing you. So you need to get true with like what feels good for you. If you are here to like be of service and help people and inspire people, okay, let's take like a small actionable step every single day. That's what that the line action card is, is telling you to do. And trust in your gut, like, does this feel good? Does this light you up? Because as long as you're feeling good and you're feeling like really powerful and excited and joyful, guess what? The bigger goal can't do anything but come true. You can't help but manifest it. So I hope this was helpful for you. Again, core values, aligned action, and trust your gut. Okay, it's a little bit heady this week. I'm going to be honest. It's a little bit heady, but you can handle it. Keep staying focused, clear your energy, take breaks outside, drink plenty of water, get your rest. Lots of love. If you want to get the cards, you can do so over my website, emilyarons.com forward slash cards and get the companion journal because everyone likes to write their cards down, their dreams, get the messages and put it all down so that you can have them together because there's a little spot on the journal that you can put your cards and your gratitude. All right, lots of love to you. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.